Hi everyone, this is going to be a review of the LED Lenser XCO19R head torch. This review is the torch with the kit pack. The kit pack comes with various different components and I'll kind of do a quick unboxing. I've used this torch before but um, I haven't opened up all the accessories so I'll do a quick unboxing. The kit pack comes with various different components um, and I'll move them to one side and I'll go through each of them. First you have a bike mount with handlebar straps so it's quite useful there, quite versatile. Um, I'll open that and actually go through some of those straps. So you've got various different straps to actually mount it to your bike. <clears throat> there we go. So it seems pretty straightforward, goes onto the handlebars like that. You've got the adjusters there and then the straps to actually keep it nice and safe so it can be used on with various different bikes. That's pretty good, very handy. Comes with a really nice little pouch, LED lenser branded. I've not really used the pouch because I put the battery pack in my bag. But if you want, you've got a nice little belt hoop here. So move that to one side. Next, you have a helmet mount. Comes with, I can open it up. Comes with two 3M double-sided sticky pads. And you can mount that to a helmet. So very useful. I mean, the kit pack is probably worth getting. It's about 15, 20 pound more, but in my opinion, definitely worth getting. You get a lot of extras, good value for money. You have a GoPro, actually that's not Go. That's the GoPro mount. You've got a GoPro mount, so another option here. If you've got GoPro mounts, so accessories, chest straps, you can actually mount this torch to GoPro as well. And you've got a nice little cleaning cloth there with a brush. Um, if you've got any dust and stuff in the torch, you can use that to clean that. Next, the actual main components of the torch itself. Battery pack, very powerful. Rated at 5,200 milliamps. And the output is 7.4 volts. It's also got USB out, so you can use it to charge your mobile phone and other devices, which is very, very useful. On the side here, you have a 5 volt, 1 amp jack to charge your mobile phones. Um, covered by really good quality plastic cover, so it's waterproof. The whole torch, the main components, are actually IPX6 waterproof. This is the input for the power adapter. Goes straight in there. Takes a few hours to charge, because it's a fairly hefty battery pack. Uh, so very good, uh, very robust fully waterproof. You have, uh, here we are. There's a button on top, if I press that, you can probably see some LEDs light up and it shows you the actual charge status of the torch. So again, very good. You've also got this little plastic notch on top here, which can be used to clip directly onto the main body of the torch. So you can actually use it as a handheld torch as well. So again, bringing more versatility options to actually use it in various different places. That's the battery pack. I would say it's actually quite weighty. I don't know the exact weight on it, I haven't measured it, but um, I wouldn't like to wear it to the back of the head strap for more than a couple of hours. That's why you've got a long lead. You can actually store this in your battery, in your bag. So, moving on, the actual power adapter itself, used to charge the torch, Sorry, used to charge a battery pack. This plugs in to the side here and charges the pack. Move that to one side. The actual torch itself. Very, very comfortable. A fully adjustable head strap. You've got a top sort of protection here um, to sort of adjust it to the top of your head and you've got your side straps. Um, that can be adjusted. Side straps can be adjusted and the torch itself can be tilted up and down sort of kind of depending on where you want to direct the light and it has a really nice sort of soft um, uh, material here so it doesn't actually sort of um, cause irritation on your head. I would wear it with a hat anyway because I don't like wearing head torches without um, sort of kind of a cap or a hat because if you wear it more than a few hours sort of kind of it marks your forehead. So that's the front of the torch uh, with the straps. Um, 
it comes with various different clips on the side here which very neatly cable manage the actual cable to the back of the torch. Uh, so if I move that cable to one side, what, the way I've got it configured is I've got the cable running to the side here with a rank, it's right angled connector comes on to the extension cable. The extension cable itself is quite long so you can use it to actually plug straight into the battery pack and leave your battery pack stored in your bag. That's how I normally like to carry it. If I'm going to be out for about half an hour, an hour, I've got the option to actually mount this pack on the back here. It clips like so. But yeah, as I said, it's this torch is not really used for lightweight. It's um, a multi-function, multi-purpose, very, very bright torch. So you, you know, they, they, they haven't really gone to reduce weight. That's not the main purpose of this torch. It's not meant to be an ultra light torch. Um, but it is meant to be a very versatile torch, a very, very bright torch that can be used in various different situations. So that's that. Now, if we move to the back here, I've put a Velcro strap here, which then keeps the cable slightly to the left and it allows it to drop straight into my bag. Um, that's something I've done myself, I've modified slightly. Comes with various different sort of Vel Velcro straps. So you can actually sort of play around how you want it configured. Um, and move that to one side. The kit pack also comes in a really nice box presentation. Um, uh, it can be used to store everything away, so it's a neat and tidy. Um, it's quite a nice pack actually. Right, moving back to the torch itself. Now, two very, very bright Cree LEDs, um, 2000 lumens, maximum output, and when I say this monster is bright, uh, it's like a, BM, uh, like a BMW a car, a Xenon headlamp on full beam. Uh, it's blinding. You couldn't, if it was a Max, you couldn't stand away. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be absolutely blinding. The LEDs themselves can be independently controlled. So you can have one off, one on. Um, you can have one on what they call OptiSense. So it's sensing the light surroundings and it's up in the voltage, down in the voltage. So you can have them either on both OptiSense, you can have one on full bright, the other on 20%. So you've got a flexibility of actually using the configuration of the LEDs in various different ways. You've got these side little adjusters here, which give you spot beam and focus on both sides. So very, very handy. Um, you can sort of adjust if you want it spot, if you want it wide. What I normally have is if I've got both the LEDs on, I will have one on spot and I'll have one on sort of wide. So I've got the best of both. It all, it all really depends on what the situation is and how you want to sort of have it adjusted. The torch does generate a lot of heat, but the design with the heat sinks doesn't sort of make it very noticeable when you're wearing it. So um, it's very comfortable um, and LED lens have been very clever with the heat sinks and how they've actually channeled the air from the front of the torch like here to go through the back and actually keep the LEDs cool. Because if they do overheat, you will find either torch will shut down or it goes into 50% power, 25%, and that's just to stop the LEDs from burning out really. Um, so that if you're out and about, and if it's cold, the faster you're going, the longer you will have the LEDs on full power. That's just again to protect the LEDs and stop them from burning out really. Um, this little center control option here, keypad, whatever you want to call it, um, is very clever because um, the center button here, if you press that, it will be actually used to control the functions on both LEDs. If you want to control the various different functions independently, you use the left and the right buttons and the up and down, so I'll be used to cycle through the functions, which I'll go through shortly. So, and that's the torch itself. Um, Without the battery pack on the back, it's quite light. Um, it's very, very comfortable. Um, and as I said, I wouldn't wear this with a battery pack on my head for a long time. Um, what you have at the back here is an option to actually take the head strop, strap out and you've got this little groove here. If you look at the battery pack, it has a little groove and it can be used to slot straight in there so you can actually use it as a handheld torch. Right, I've got the battery pack plugged in. And I'll cycle through some of the functions. Um, first of all, full power. Now, if you hold the center button down, 
for five seconds, the torch will go into what we call burst mode, I mean high intensity full power mode. And that is roughly 2000 lumens. That kind of power, um, the torches, um, the, both the LEDs will go on obviously full power. It's very bright, they will generate a lot of heat. So if you're not in an environment where you've got air that's circulating through the front, um, the LEDs probably on that power will probably sort of power themselves down after about an hour, 40 minutes. So to come off full power, hold that button again, and it goes off. And as I mentioned previously, you can independently control the various different LEDs, um, both the LEDs, sorry. So what I can do is if I can turn the side one on and press it twice again, it goes into what we call OptiSense. Now that one's on OptiSense and what OptiSense does is there's a little light sensor in the front of the torch. And what OptiSense does is looks at the surrounding light that's coming back into, onto that sensor and it will actually automatically up and sort of reduce the voltage to the LEDs themselves. So that one's on OptiSense. So again, to go on OptiSense, you press it once to turn it on, two clicks again, and it will go on OptiSense. So we we'll leave that on OptiSense, and then what I can do is on the left LED, I can got the option of turning that on, full power, full power again, sorry, that was on 25%, 50%, and then turning it off again. So as you can see, both of them can be independently controlled. Um, and I'll show you, so you got spot there, you got wide, um, I'll turn that off again. So both of them can be adjusted independently. What you have on the back there is you've got an option to actually press that button down and that takes it into 10%, both LEDs. Now on 10% power, this torch can probably go to from about 22 to 24 hours. Um, so very good if you need it for a long period of time. And that's still plenty bright. I mean, uh, that's probably about 200 lumens, I think, 150 to 200 lumens. And that's most basic head torches, actually more than some basic head torches, and that's on the most minimum power. And that will give you easily 20 hours plus. So I can turn that off. So as you can see, very, very bright, very versatile, and <coughs> can be controlled independently. Right, I'm gonna go through some of the other functions of the LED. So if you press the back button once, it gives you 5% mode. Um, so again, very, very um, good if you're caught short on battery. I mean, that's that's very low. That is, I think that's about 50 lumens. Um, so you can turn that off. So press it twice, naturally once again. So that gives you 5% uh, flashing mode. Um, so I can turn that off. Earlier on, um, I briefly demonstrated the full power mode. That was on 75%. Um, I've actually done some reading and the full power mode is the front button at the front held down for two seconds and that gives it full power 100%. So that's literally 2000 lumens. Um, I was out in the Brecon Beacons um, a few weeks back and uh, someone said to me that they could kind of see me on full power nearly half a mile away. So that gives you an example um, of how bright this torch is. Earlier on, um, I mentioned OptiSense. Now, OptiSense, I think I had the um, LEDs on earlier on, so you might not have been able to see the actual receiver here that measures the light coming in. It's at the front here. Now, the way it works is, I think I mentioned, it measures the incoming light, but it's done in a really nice fashion. It's done in a gradual way. So. If you were to go from um, a really dark area into a very brightly lit area or an area where you've got other friends around you, you know, um, that might be out and about trekking, um, they've got their head torches on as well. It will actually sense there's light around and sort of reduce its power gradually. So you're actually saving battery power. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a very useful feature. I think it works well. Um, it's not the ideal environment here to actually show it to you when I do the field test. Actually, I'll go through OptiSense. Coming back to the battery pack, it's encased with a very um, high quality plastic, um, I think I mentioned IPX6 waterproof. Um, it has four 18650 batteries um, and it's worth mentioning. Um, I think it can be opened. I mean, 18 rechargeable batteries, I think they have a, 
uh, cycle time for about a thousand charges I believe before they sort of start um, kind of decreasing in life I think you can be opened I won't do it because it's a new battery pack I'm sure you can um, it's got sort of four plastic lugs here which I think if you were to take them out you've probably got some screws so you could probably take the casing apart and actually replace the 18650 batteries four batteries I think about 20 25 pound to buy so Amazon eBay um, so I, I'm sure it can be opened um, if you do it carefully um, and put back together so um, in conclusion um, and this again is just going to conclude the overview of the torch um, uh, so this second part part three will be a field test uh, so in conclusion I what I would say is that it's um, an expensive torch um, if you can just need a torch to sort of um, when you're out and about trekking you're up in the hills and the mountains um, and you just need it for that purpose this is probably overkill uh, you don't need a torch like this because this is a multi-function torch if you need a torch uh, if you're going to be in caves if you're using it for work you're underground uh, you know I, I would definitely buy it because I, I use it for various different things I mean I use it when I'm working on my car um, uh, you know from in the basement if you're out and about um, being, being sort of a DIY man myself um, I use it for various different uses and it's got various different mounts so it, you know, I would say it's kind of probably aimed at a person like that which who wants to kind of use it for various different features um, sort of functions I wouldn't uh, you know spending nearly 220 pound on a head torch uh, it's a significant amount of money um, but what I will say uh, finally is it's very good quality um, backed up by lead lenses very good UK support warranty it comes a two-year warranty um, I, so I think it is actually a very good buy I mean it is expensive some people will argue you know why spend that much for a torch um, but uh, I, you know, others would argue um, you can't compromise quality and lead lenses certainly make very good quality products so um, you know a thumbs up from me definitely a very good product um, I would use the battery wisely because I've been in situations where um, I've let it run on full power without realizing um, and it's actually caught you know I've been caught short of battery um, most of the situations if you're out and about and if you're using it for trekking um, if you're sort of Ben Nevis, um, Snowden you know if you're out at night Kind of you know similar situations you probably don't need both the lights on I mean I would just use one of the lamps on with OptiSense it will give you sort of eight to ten hours of power and that's plenty enough um, so um, yeah if you use wisely read the instructions um, should have no issues with going through a full day um, of power from the battery pack and with all the different mounts the kit options etc I think it makes it a very versatile head torch and definitely worth buying. I hope you like the review. If you get any questions, um, if you want to know anything else that I may have not mentioned, feel free to drop me a message. Um, thumbs up if you like it. Um, I'm going to do my best to sort of do some more reviews over the next couple of weeks. I've got the uh, LED Lenser SCL7 torch, which is um, the very lightweight, ultra lightweight um, sort of kind of torch. And uh, we'll go through that, and hopefully next week or the week after, I'll get a chance to actually do a full field test with this as well and show it to you outside um, with some pictures as well. Thanks a lot.